We're going to read another story today from our bedtime favorites. The story that we're going to read is Toy Story, The Big Camp Out. Ooh. Guess what, Bonnie said as she looked excitedly at all of her toys. We're going to do something really special tonight. The toys were carefully arranged on Bonnie's bed. They couldn't wait to find out what the special something was. But they stayed motionless. The little girl clapped her hands with glee. We're going on an adventure, Bonnie cried. So, <clears throat> here's some of the ones. We have Buzz. We have Woody. We have Bullseye. We have Jesse. We have, and we have Rex. And this is Bonnie, Woody, Buzz, and Slinky. And Ham, and Porcupine, and Mr. Potato, and all of our other friends that we've mentioned. The toys were excited, but they still didn't move. And we all get to go, Bonnie said. She carefully placed Woody, Buzz Lightyear, Slinky, Dog, and all her other new toys in a big tote bag. Next, she collected her beloved old toys. Buttercup the Unicorn, Trixie the Triceratops, a hedgehog named Mr. Pickle Pants, and a rag doll named Dolly came too. So this is Buttercup the Unicorn. This is the rag doll named Dolly. This is Trixie the Triceratops. And this is the hedgehog called Mr. Pickle Pants. We're all going to have so much fun, Bonnie told them. Bonnie ran off to get a flashlight. Once she left, all the toys suddenly came to life. I wonder where we're going, Mr. Pickle Pants said. I hope there aren't any scary animals, Rex the dinosaur whispered to his friends. I'll protect you, Woody said with a wink. Then the toys heard footsteps and stopped talking. We're camping out, Bonnie said happily as she came into the room. She scooped up the tote bag. A few minutes later, Bonnie and her toys were in the backyard. Here we are. She said, Bonnie carefully unpacked the toys and began arranging them inside the tent and tent she had set up. You sit next to Trixie, she told Rex, placing the two dinosaurs side by side. Buttercup, Woody, and Buzz, you guys will be next to my sleeping bag. Soon all the toys were in their own spots. Now let's have a picnic. Bonnie began passing out toy food and toy plates. Corn for Buttercup. Pepperoni pizza for Rex. Bonnie, dinner time, called Mother. Bonnie giggled. I've got to go eat my dinner, but don't worry. I'll be back soon. So she gave each toy a big hug and then crawled out head first out of the tent. Left alone in the tent, the toys begin to explore. This is a really comfortable spot, Jessie said, admiring Bonnie's puffy sleeping bag. The accommodations really are quite satisfactory, Mr. Pickle Pants agreed. Well, shine my spurs, Woody exclaimed. The cowboy walked over to the electric camping lantern and turned it on. A warm glow lit up the tent. Let's have a sing-along, Woody suggested. He held his cowboy hat over his heart and began to sing Camp Town Races. Jesse quickly joined in and Bullseye stomped his hooves in the time to the beat. The other toys began singing too. After a few more songs, the boys, the toys went outside. They still had some time before Bonnie returned. They wanted to explore. Pushing through the tent flaps, the toys stepped into the backyard. It had grown dark. Look, look, Buttercup said. The stars are coming out. Buzz smiled. That, my friend, is the Big Dipper. Seven stars that form a ladle shape, he pointed. See, the Big Dipper right here.
He pointed towards the constellation. You sure know a lot about the sky, Trixie said, impressed. Buzz grinned. Comes with the Space Ranger territory. I just saw a shooting star, Mr. Potato Head shouted. I think it was a firefly, Ham said. Ham. Jesse hopped on Bullseye. I'm going to explore the yard. Buttercup trotted over. Follow me. I'll show you the red rose bed. Trixie turned to the toys. Who wants to play freeze tag? With a sly smile, she tapped Rex. Tag, you're frozen. Smiling the rest smiling the rest of the toys began running away as Trixie chased after them. The flower bed is out of bounds, she shouted. Hey, someone tag me, Rex called, still frozen. Anyone? I'm wiped out, Ham said a little while later. How about a shadow puppet production, Mr. Pinkle Pants suggested. That's a great idea, Woody said, leading his friends to the tent. Bonnie's going to be back soon. The toys used Bonnie's flashlight to create shadow puppets on the tent. Buzz made an airplane with his wings. Mr. Pickle Pants made an elephant. Rex peeked outside the tent window. Boy, it sure got dark fast, he remarked. Then Dolly made... A pair of bunny ears behind the dinosaur's head. Everyone laughed. Even Rex. A sleepover wouldn't be complete without a scary story, Mr. Potato Head said. He clicked off the flashlight once, er, once there was a dark little toy that got lost in the forest. The forest was dark. Very dark. Like now? Rex exclaimed, beginning to get scared. Suddenly, there were footsteps, Mr. Potato Head said. The toys heard the sound of someone running. Like now, Jesse said with a gasp. Mr. Potato Head continued his story. A monster was coming. Ah! Rex shrieked as a huge shadow loomed over the tent. The toys all flopped down and went still. The tent flap opened. It was Bonnie. She brought the toys outside and gave each one a marshmallow on a twig. It wouldn't be a camp out if we didn't toast marshmallows, she announced happily. The toys couldn't have agreed more, and Rex was especially glad that there wasn't a real monster after all. So tomorrow, we are going to be reading We Need the Pooh Piglet's Nightlights. I hope you enjoyed the Toy Story story, and have a good night. Bye!